Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the What's Good podcast. And today, I promise we won't talk about Misfits forever. But just for a little while. Yeah, but maybe later. Yeah, nah. nah. Right now? Yeah, let's do it first. Oh, let's get I out I fucking hate it! <laughs> I hate boxing! <laughs> also, have a guess how many subscribers we're on. One no. million. You knew I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> 19... 900,000 yeah. 900, and 18,000. Yes. I look quite a lot. That's literally what we're on. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Well, subscribe. We're trying to get to a million. When we get to a million, we'll do so much stuff. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> By the way, I had a green apple slushy from a place near here the other night. I loved it. <laughs> I don't know what to reply. I'm sorry, I can see it over there. The remnants is over there. I was playing Fortnite oh. here as well. You remember when you were like, oh, it's, it's John, man. John needs to clean up this place, not me. Bro, that's one drink. <laughs> I'll go through it right now. But to be fair, he should do that. Is that full? Yeah, but I've just opened it. Oh, okay. It's brand new. I'm just checking. Check just out checking. Prime. And by the way, guys, nah, never mind. <laughs> you know what I was going to say. All right, well, uh, let's just get this Misfits talk out of the way. Yeah. I didn't watch either of the girls' fights. No, I we, was, we missed. I was actually angry, by the way. I wanted to watch them. Yeah. But everyone just kind of stood in the bar. Uh, by the way, I will say this right now. There's nothing I hate more than the Heineken bar. I fucking hate the Heineken bar. If <laughs> anyone who doesn't know, by the way, when we go to these fights, there's like, we go in like a different entrance and then we go up some stairs and there's a Heineken bar there with no TVs or anything. Like, we can't see the fights. I don't mind about the TV thing. It's just- Well, what? when we went to the O2, we could, like, watch, cool, we could watch the that, fight true, in there. Yeah, I take it back. So you could get a drink and watch the fight. Yeah. So here, it's literally just a bar. Um, everyone just stands around. That was a good place. That O2 one that was, was really sick. nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's nothing against Heineken. So if everyone wants me, I'm still down. <laughs> but I hate that room. Sweaty, yeah. everyone's always up there melt, melting away. Well, me and Tali were the last ones there. So mm. everyone said, oh, we're all in the Heineken bar. Yeah. So we went up Yeah, and there were the two the two girl fights. So we yeah. missed them. I, mean, I, I know that the guys I was with wanted to see it as well. Josh and Freezy wanted to see the girl fights too. But they were like, nah, it's too early. You can't drink down there. I'm like, guys, I don't have to base my life around alcohol. <laughs> I'm like, you boring. <laughs> I think you were the drunkest out of everyone I saw there. Drunk? Yeah. What? You were definitely second. You were second drunkest person. Who was the most? Night. Chip. He kept he kept walking up to Vidal, going like, "Oh, okay, Vidal, yeah, yeah, one punch, I'd knock you out." Yeah, he was one punch, <laughs> one to the jaw. Your jaw ain't built. <laughs> I, I I wasn't drunk. Yes, you were. No, I should be me. There's no way you weren't drunk. I, I promise. I, was, I only probably got drunk when I got to the bar afterwards, the, the real bar. Okay, I, I swear down. I'm just a bubbly guy. All right. I just love well, life. Lil Belzy beat Lil Kimchi. Love that name, by the way. Lil Kimchi. Makes me want to get some ramen noodles. Because you get some kimchi in one of the ones yeah, at Wagamama. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That ramen um, noodles. Yeah. You know, if, you're, if you're really ill or poorly, it's a great. Really? Yeah. I it's guess it's because it's like broth. soup. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. soup's good as well. But soup's not food. Uh, Paige Cakey beat Tennessee Thresh. And, and everyone said Tennessee's going to win that one. I have no idea about either of them. Either so I didn't. I, yeah, no idea. Great. Uh, Great reaction to the fights. Well, I don't know who they are. I didn't watch the fight. Same, so I same, can't same. really say anything. But Virus versus DK Money, I saw. I watched back. Ah. I wasn't there, but I watched it back. Yeah. What a knockout. Really? You've not seen it? No. Who do you think won? Virus. Yeah, it says it on the screen. Oh, no. <laughs> well, not, not just that. Bro, I heard everyone talking crap about DK Money. knockout. I saw Ryan Taylor reacting to him. Well, he, yeah. he knocked down Virus. Wow. And then Virus got back up and... I think it's pronounced virus, two Zs. Virus. Yeah, please don't say virus ever again. Bro, look at DK Money going ham. Pink shorts, DK Money? Yeah. DK. Donkey so he does knock Kong. him out. Not, yeah. well, not out, he knocks him down. Bang, 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 bang. But bang. virus just, yeah. Bang. Going ham. Right, let's cut to the- uh... I think he knocks him down in the second round as well. Wow. Look. Throws on the audio right now. Boom! Oh, strong left hook or a and then left look, his arm straight. is stuck, but he can't lift his arm out. Yeah, he's he's done for. He's done for. Yeah. Ooh. Nuts. Congrats, Nuts But I'm I'm gutted. I missed that in person. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, I, I would have seen them all, but we were stuck in the Heineken bar. <laughs> you know what? You need to be more of a leader. You need to lead people down. You should have just been like, guys, we're going. I guarantee, if I do that, I'm just out there on my own. I wouldn't have minded that actually. True. In hindsight, I sat on my own watch the fights. Does this mean you guys missed the boogie fight? No, no, no. I watched. Well, I watched oh, it on. Sorry, yeah. I watched the boogie fight on my phone. Yeah, because they were prelims. We were never going to make it because also Notts County and Chesterfield were went to Penn, so we were traffic was crazy anyway. Yeah. Getting to the arena. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, that was before my time. The wings boogie stuff. Yeah, true. Wasn't so it? I was kind of like gassed because it was like everyone else was gassed. Yeah. 
but in reality, I don't really care. Yeah, I think that's a lot of people like in the audience and also watching it. Not, not we have to realize now, not everyone was around back then. Well, I realized that because I wasn't. Yeah, yeah, that's what the, <laughs> isn't that crazy? Well, they were the weirdest walkouts as well because Boogie had Chase walk out with him with a mustache, with a mustache, and then uh, Wings walked out and wrapped himself. That was cold, out. by the way. I loved that because I, I always think why doesn't JJ do that? But he hasn't, has he? Did he do that like that? Or was that just SX? Uh, I feel like he doesn't normally do it. Because to be fair, like you, you're focusing on the fight. Yeah, I, I guess, get it. I guess Wings didn't need to focus. Wings batted him, by the way. Yeah. I don't think Wings could even see. No. <laughs> he looked blind. But fair enough to both of them get in the ring. Someone said, like, whoever walks second's got the advantage. No, so whoever walks first has got the advantage. Because the second guy's going to be too knackered by the time he gets into the ring. Oh, my God. And Boogie did. Boogie was stopped. <laughs> to be fair, Boogie was, like, sat down while the ring walk was happening. And then they couldn't get his shorts up, right? Yeah, I want to know how they've like how have they got these shorts and not tried them? Yeah. Also, how have they not fallen down on the way to the ring? True, true. Maybe the impact of the punch set yeah. something going off like that crazy. I don't know. Anyway, I was gonna say I felt a bit bad for them, but I think they're both they're actually really happy to be there because they, they actually did lose weight compared to you know obviously they're still massive now, but they lost weight. I think it's a big deal. I think for like Boogie, it's a big deal for him to get out of the country. I think as well. So for him, he's happy, you know. Got 10k for the fight. Mad. Apparently spent it already on Is training. All, on what? On training and nutrition and stuff. Is that who, who? They just openly said how much they got paid. Yeah, he said it on Twitter. Mad. Someone said, "How'd you get paid? How Fair much did you get paid?" He said, "I got paid 10k." Mad. But uh, he didn't include sponsorships, so hopefully they made a bit more on that. But yeah, shout out. I mean, I don't know how they, the Kim pulled this off really. And then, oh, bro, did you watch Corn's fight? I didn't see that one. You know, I didn't it see was that the one. best fight of the I didn't night. See why? Because me and Freezy were in the cab. Now I was on music responsibility. So if I played the fight, the music stops. And he was watching it in the back. It's the best fight. Yeah, I'm actually going to write a complaint to Freezy. <laughs> Written one. That fight was so good because that was like full on influencer boxing. Yeah. Like there was no skill. They just went, fuck it. Yeah. I'm just going to throw. It was in slow motion. They kept wobbling each other. I did see one of the punches. The corn one. Big, yeah, yeah. Missed. Yeah. yeah. They should add, you know, to that fight, they should add the um, like, Sound effects. Cart- cartoon ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Boing. <laughs> well, let's talk about the three main fights. Yeah. The three that we realistically went to watch. Yeah. Salt Pappy v. Anthony Taylor. Yeah. They're you seem happy about this, you know. What? That's Salt Pappy lost. No, I'm not. You seem like you're celebrating it. No, I'm just like, we're finally moving on. I, I hate talking about boxing because I don't um, know anything about it. No, neither. <laughs> I-, I think Salt Pappy um, is still in the game, though. I think he's still in the game. I think he just got outclassed Probably, yeah, by, he got outsmarted by a smarter boxer. Of course, he's still in the game. Yeah, bro, he's still like he's still good. And he's now, still people, there. people on Twitter are like, "Oh, he's washed now." You know, I think it's because everyone overhyped him. Yeah, they did, they did, but also he was like this, this. That was a really tough opponent, really, wasn't it? Like, in, yeah, in Anthony Taylor was good, but, also but like he, you've seen sidecast clips of like JJ sat next to Ethan, and Ethan is literally oh, yeah. there going like, "Saw Pappy wipes the floor with you." But then, but then what I what I took from that fight is wasn't necessarily that Anthony Taylor was. Bet, he was a better boxer for sure on the night, but, but I don't think that. I think if you give Salt Pepper more time, I think he can be he can he can beat him because he, he he wasn't fit enough for sure. But you have to remember he has lost a lot of weight. Yeah, he was big when he started this. But the more time he has, the more time Anthony Taylor has. Yeah, but I'm saying Anthony Taylor's already reached his like I think he's already reached his level. Now he's just out there boxing. I think Salt Pepper's still on a curve, um, and also he wasn't smart enough because Anthony T- Taylor kept just clinching, 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 and just kept going low, 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 and he couldn't do anything. But obviously, he deserved to win the fight for sure. Definitely did. But and also, I saw Leon tweet actually. He was saying that Salt Papi would have probably preferred more rounds in that fight. But he actually wanted less rounds, didn't he? That was the whole thing. Yeah. Why would he? I think cause, I think it was fitness. I think I think I think from what I was hearing is that you know in boxing you have to always have like a negotiation piece, don't you? I think that was his piece. Like this is okay. If you're throwing this fight on me, this short notice, I need something back to benefit yeah. me. But it probably didn't benefit him in the end. But yeah. Yeah. I mean, Salt Papi will just fight someone else now. And I think that will make it easier for him to find a fight. That's yeah, true. Actually, he'll now fight someone, someone who he thought was probably beneath him. He'll now be able to fight them, hopefully beat them, and then his weight will go up a little bit more. Yeah. Well, I mean, more just because like the amount of people that I think were scared of Salt Pappy. Oh, like, and that as well. Because good point. I don't think, for example, I don't think Slim. Let's choose Slim for example. I don't think Slim is scared of him, but both of them are like. That's gonna. It's one of our like Scared runs is ended. Yeah, by it. yeah. So why would we do it? Yeah. Now, it's like fuck it. Mm-hmm. He's lost one. It doesn't matter. Yeah, for sure. Uh, but Deji versus Swarms. Deji and Swarms was it? Was it 
really interesting one because Deji looked unreal at most times in terms of like compared to Swarms. He, he had him in the corner the entire time, controlling the entire fight. And he was dodging really well. But then some, some flurries he let slip, right? Because yeah. Swarms did actually get some a few counters yeah. in there. Did, did you did, see in the first second, like, so second. in the first like six seconds, Swarms counter punches him right. and then uh, clinches yeah. and then looks over at our oh, area. I did see that. And he just goes, watch this, watch this. Yeah. I like <laughs> and that, then though. proceeds to just defend. Swarms is a very good, very good promoter of the fight. hundred percent. So very good entertainer. Like 100%. that makes it fun, right? I remember when Slim used to do that as well, right? Yeah. Um, so I respect that. Deji, I think Deji admitted he did a video after the fight. I'm not sure if you saw it. Yeah, I did watch he, it. The title W. Yeah. Great title. Um, <laughs> he was saying he took three months off after the Floyd fight. Yeah. And then kind of got back into it and realized how hard he has to work again to get back to normal. Well, did you see Leon's tweet? He, Leon said he was at sixty percent, right? Yeah. And it's because he just kept like, he just kind of left boxing for three months. Yeah. Which, it annoys me that, it does annoy me though, Leon's tweet saying, not Leon, his tweet, the fact yeah. that, oh, we need to drill it into Deji that he's got to take it serious. And I'm like, bro is on his sixth fight, seventh fight, whatever and he's, it is. And he's, he knows what it feels like to lose. Yeah. So, so that should be there saying, don't do that again. But it is from, go it's because he went from Mayweather to Swamps. Yeah, yeah, true. And, and, and I, I think the Mayweather thing, <clears throat> thing is a bit of like a, it's tough because I, in all respects to Deji, it wasn't like that. He, he didn't get that fight with Floyd because of Deji's boxing prowess, mm. if that makes sense, you know. Sorry, Deji, you just didn't, you know. Well, he beat Floozy Tube. He beat like, yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. Like, like one win doesn't mean like, yeah. And he, and he did all right, obviously, like, you know, it was still a great feat. It's still amazing to be able to get that, you know, get that done. But it doesn't mean, it doesn't really mean anything for your next fight. Like, you know, fighting Floyd, maybe confidence, but then it could be... Uh, complacency, not just confidence, right? But he did a, he did the job. He, he looked really good. So if he did go 100, percent it'd be a great fight. Yeah. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I was gutted though because I was. So I'm sat. We had the front row behind the barrier, and I am sat the furthest right. Yeah. So I'm sat right on the end. Pictures on that. No. Well, yeah, but like the angle I have, uh. I can't see the corner that he spent 90% of the fight in. Yeah, oh really, yeah. As in, you know how he kept backing the swarms into a corner? I'm literally there like trying to lean around. I can't see it. And the screen is like behind us. Yeah. So I'm literally just looking at nothing. Yeah, yeah. And hearing people go, oh, and I'm like, <laughs> oh, oh, go on. Who's winning? I have someone's big fat head right right here. Sorry, whoever that was. I'm not, it's not, <laughs> it, could be, it could be anyone's head and I'll call it fat. But I was like, like this, you know, but it's, it's okay. It's what it is. <laughs> There's one bit where, um, was it Chisora sat in front? David Hay. David Hay? David Hay was there, but I think it was Trezor was sat oh. in front of us. And he, he at one point just goes, Swarms! Oh, he says, no, he says Stormzy first. <laughs> he goes, Stormzy, your next album's gonna suck. <laughs> and then pauses and goes, like you're boxing. <laughs> and then you see the girl next to him just go like, it's Swarms. Oh swarms, no. Swarms. And then he goes, Swarms! <laughs> so your thing. next album's gonna suck. <laughs> Like your box. <laughs> I was just like, this, this is, trash yeah. talk was so bad. That's outdated, mate. But if he sees me in person, then it was jokes. <laughs> true, uh, true, true. <laughs> Very true. I think I see a lot of people online in TikTok comments and stuff saying, oh, Deji's so much better than JJ. And it's like, they, they could have a point in terms of like actual- Maybe like natural. Boxing, yeah, prowess. But J JJ's always said that. Like yeah, natural that, yes, power yeah, and speed. Yeah, yeah. Deji is so good. Yeah. He was a sprinter at school, like. But he, 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 look, he looks look much more calculated. Where JJ, he's JJ style is kind of like more, more explosive. He's kind of like yeah. bouncing around. And uh, but what I will say though is that he also he's fighting swarms. Like when JJ fought swarms, he got rid of him. In, you know. Yeah, but swarms had had like three weeks training. No, no, but, um, but yeah, that's, sorry, sorry, that's very true. But what I'm trying to say is JJ, all, all of JJ's opponents have been much harder than um, say JJ they just fought. And JJ has finish all those in like yeah. small amount of times. So I, I think JJ, I think JJ hits harder. I think he's got more, more power. Um, but it's cause he trains hard, way harder. That, that's what so if, yeah. if Deji did JJ's kind of like work rate, then it'd be pretty unreal. Well then Swarms did an interview afterwards. Well actually Deji did an interview and called out Liam Payne. And I don't know if you've seen all the videos of Liam Payne, but they're all really weird. Like- If him at the event? Yeah. Like, I, so he does one and someone says, oh, Deji called you out. And he was like, yeah, yeah, that was a bit weird, wasn't it? I don't know why he's done that. But um, I guess uh, I guess I was a bit loud on YouTube in my youth, and I was like, was it not like a year ago? <laughs> I got, I want to see these interviews, man, because I loved those, that area where he was doing. This is the one. Paul. Can you turn the volume on? Well, turn the just do CC, do subtitles. Okay, okay. 
Was your reaction quick, wasn't it? Two rounds, just two rounds. How many rounds are you supposed to be? Oh, six, six. Oh, that means it's a really small ring as well. It's smaller than usual, right? I'm not sure exactly the dimension, <laughs> but it did look, yeah, yeah. What was your thoughts on his actual victory, though? Because there was talks. The dress-ups, I can't, I don't know. Yeah, he basically says, yeah, he basically says when he's, like, he's been talking about watching it on TV and he's, like, down to do it. Yeah. And now he's been sat ringside, he's not down to do it. Right. And he's like, I think someone called me out. Who did? Oh, like, oh Deji did. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Yeah. <laughs> he loves it, mate. Liam Payne loves it. There was previous beef there, I wouldn't have been like, no, I think I was a bit loudmouth on YouTube in my uh, my youth, maybe. <laughs> it was like last year. It was just, it was so weird. Yeah. I, I uh, loved, loved that era though. He was so out of his mind back then. But yeah, then he says he's, he doesn't have, he's not heavy N enough. Nice drip fight. though. Nice outfit there. Yeah. Nice chain, nice hat. Um, but yeah, then Swarms did his interview and halfway through it, the lights just go off. I missed this. Me and Freeze went to get a drink. Fuming, right? Because, because I watched the clip it was, back. It was, it was, I, it's really awkward. No, no, but it was just jokes. It I love the it fact. It was so bad. No, but I love the fact that they keep putting Pineda in these situations. It was so bad. But, the, but his song's so cool. Yeah, but it was Boom. like, it had potential. Ah. It was so Didn't bad. Didn't Swarms just leave? Swarms was mid interview. The right? lights went off and I, we literally all went like, oh, that's peak. Like Swarms just been cut off. <laughs> like, you let him speak, you know? <laughs> so it, lights go off. There's about 10 seconds. He walks off stage and then you hear, dong. <laughs> And we were like, wait, oh, Pineda's coming in. I wish but you've waited, I was there. But you've waited way too long. So Swarms is gone. Yeah, but I, I would love to see that mayhem. And then he comes in and just goes, Vamos! <laughs> and V Dave's like, oh, I'm his translator. He says, I want to fight Swarms. Let's go, bitch. Vamos. <laughs> <laughs> and then they walk up and go to try and talk to Swarms and he's gone. Classic. And then, um, yeah, I, I feel like they, I think they should have called out Deji and Swarms. For a double. Oh, V Dave and Pineda. That would have been amazing. True, but I, feel, I don't know. I, I feel, is it crazy if I say if like Deji is above the tag teams? Mm. I fully get that. Because I've been- like, I do fully get that. I, but I, I, as a viewer, I'd kind of be annoyed to see Deji on this like, you know, losing streak, then he wins and wins again, but still has got more to give and then he's got to go fight a double team. Yeah, but I'd also love to see, I'd love to see anyone fight in a double team. I, I would, I would. Like as much as I want to see JJ do his next fight. Yeah. Imagine seeing JJ Deji as a double know, team or JJ Logan. As an individual fight for sure. I'd yeah. like to see that. But um, Swarm, shout out to him. He, he puts a, lot, a good shift in. I think he's still going to fight for sure. Yeah. And still do a good job. Yeah, for sure. And then we have the main event. The main event. JJ versus Joe Fournier. Yeah. I can't believe how, <laughs> by the way, I, before it started, I was in the group chat because not all the boys were actually there. Some watching it at home. Yeah. Um, and I just had this, had this like feeling that we've been scammed. In what way? Like, as in like, I've been pretty scared of this fight. Joe Fournier, ooh, pro box or whatever. And then I saw him get into the ring. I thought, is that it? Do you know what I mean? Is that him? I just had a feeling. As in like, he wasn't as impressive as you thought just he was. No, before the fight even started, I'm looking, I'm looking at him thinking, is he who we are scared of? No, that's what I mean. That's yeah, what I mean. Like, <laughs> while he's walking in, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm like uh, oh. Yeah, and I'm, I'm like- and he didn't have the presence like Logan had. Yeah. When Logan, <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but yeah. when Logan walked in the ring against JJ, yeah. we were all like, he's huge. Yeah, yeah. And he just has that, that uh, aura, yeah, that that VVD aura, aura around him. Whereas yeah, Joe Fournier walked in and I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and I put in chat, I was like, JJ's gonna destroy him. But someone behind me goes, how old is this Don? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> someone goes, 40 and he goes, yeah, he looks it. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> I yeah. see how it is. <laughs> yeah, and then the fight started. and I, I mean, I wasn't nervous, you know. Did you, were you nervous? Um, I was nervous for about eight seconds because yeah. I think Joe throws one punch and JJ kind of, it doesn't hit him that hard, yeah, but I, it hits him and I'm yeah, like, oh, yeah. and then JJ takes control of it. Yeah, I mean, and again, JJ just looks, I, he, JJ is wild though. He's still wild. Like, he still throws these crazy shots. Yeah, there's one or two. But he seems work. more comfortable with it though. It's not, it doesn't feel like the Logan, you know, over swingy things that you used to do. Yeah. It feels a bit more. There's technique with wild shots, yeah. whereas before there was just wild shots. Yeah, but I feel like he could get still caught though. If he gets caught by someone, that's still gonna, you know. But anyway, yeah. anyway obviously he did really well, kind of controlled the fight, the entirety. Then he lands a really good overhand, right? And then the next minute, like that's, that's a that really one. good hit. That's the one. Just yeah, before. and he is stumbling a little bit. Yeah, but then and there, yeah, yeah. Then there's the moment where so the, Joe is stumbling, and then Joe, there's a whole argument online of Joe's trying to lean in to clinch. Yeah, JJ. His face. <laughs> <laughs> he does go for the clinch, like yeah, he no, does, no. like his arms goes around him. But then there's this whole thing of does JJ's foot, his right hand clip him at all before the forearm? And yeah. everyone's saying it's an elbow. 
like it's definitely a forearm. Yeah, I guess. What's mm. what's the difference? I mean, I, I know the difference. Is you asking me on my body? I don't know. Uh, I think a forearm to me just seems way more like it's obviously accidental compared to an elbow. Oh well, no, I mean, he, I was confused because when I was at ringside, I was like. I didn't see the shot, right? And next minute, he's on the floor. I'm like, how has he not been knocked out? So yeah, in person, no one in the stadium saw it not as a knockout, just as pl- just a normal knockout. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It yeah. looked it looked like a normal hit. I only knew in like uh, on my phone. I checked my phone and people people putting in elbow, yeah. elbow, elbow, elbow. Well, elbow, that was elbow. it. We're like also the screen for us was like above us and behind, so we couldn't even see the re- like the replay. Yeah. Why are you still watching this? <laughs> I don't know, actually. <laughs> you, you were getting tra- in a trance about it. Well, I, I'm saying like, it's like, he did elbow, well, well, I mean, forearm, elbow, whatever you want to say. He, did, he did definitely did. That was oh, yeah, the reason 100%. he got knocked out from that. He yeah. didn't get knocked out from, even if his glove made contact before, that wasn't what knocked him out. Yeah. But at the same time, I see people saying, like, oh, it's like shameful or it's like, it's like, he didn't mean to do that. Well, that's, that's the argument. Like you have some people saying, firstly, he was getting knocked out anyway. He's like, the right hand connected first, then the forearm. So he was going down anyway. Okay, yeah. You have other people saying he straight elbowed him on purpose. Yeah. And then you have other people that are in the middle that are like, yeah, he's gone to punch. He's missed the punch just, and then he's caught a forearm accidentally and that's what knocked him out. Well, it's a shame because that, 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 that big overhand that he hit before that even, that clinch happened was really strong. And you could see Fournier was actually wobbling then. So he would have he would have got him down anyway in the next few, right, the next few rounds, unless... Joe hit him with something crazy. So I think, you know, that regardless of that incident, I think he was still going to win the fight. But then, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I mean, it's not on purpose though. He's just, he's just, he's just flying shots out there and, and the elbow connects. I mean, I don't know enough about boxing history to know like the, you know, if, if that was, was it a sneaky shot or was it just a natural thing that happened? But I think it was complete natural well, thing Yeah, happens. Joe Fournier says he, he's like, he literally elbowed me on purpose. There's no way, Because he knew I was coming back nah, into it, blah, blah, blah. There's no way about He said that. like, everyone knows I start slow in fights. Like the first couple rounds, you know, he might yeah, have had. Yeah. yeah. But like, also he did hit you with a great shot. I had just stumbled in. Yeah. To me, so. JJ was, he was dominating the fight. Yeah. Looked like he was going to win. Obviously anything could change. Accidentally hits him with the forearm. You can give it as a no contest. Yeah. Don't do it. Don't bother with a rematch. No one really cares enough to watch nah. it. Go well, fight. It- he wants to fight Tommy. That that fight is there. Both of them want to fight it. That's what everyone wants to see. Go do that now. Yeah. Too fair. I mean, he just might move get on. a no- it might be a no contest, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't really change. I mean, obviously, obviously, it changes the result of that fight. But like you said, I don't think we need to see a rematch because if this happened, if this was the first thing that we saw happen in the fight, then yeah, maybe you need to see a rematch to see what would happen. But I think everyone knows that he will beat Joe Fournier. It's not a question anymore. So even on the hype of the build-up, we're not, we're not thinking, oh, who's going to win? We think, right, JJ is really, really strong and confident for this fight then. Yeah. So there's no point. You know, whatever whatever this result is going to be, that's the, that's the result. The next fight would be Tommy or whoever it's going to be. Let that trajectory continue. It's, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of, I feel a bit, a bit bad for JJ because like, yeah, you work like for six months solid, and everyone just says it's a. It's a and everyone goes, yeah, but yeah, with him, yeah, yeah, and <laughs> obviously he, he and he did he, he hit him with a forearm or whatever, but it shouldn't change like it shouldn't change the way we see the fight if that makes sense. And but, but, but for him personally, he'll he'll never see it as a win. He, well, sorry, even if it's not a win, he'll never see it as a good at night. He'll be like, all that time is wasted, you know. But yeah. it is. I mean, I don't I don't know how. Else. It's just a shame, really. I think everyone has the most people have the same kind of like assessment of it. Like, it's just a shame that it happened. Um, no one's really to blame. If they do a rematch, then they do it, but it'd have to be quick, right? It'd have to be That's like, the thing. whack it on the next car. I don't think anyone cares no now. One, no, no one does. So. M- imagine that, imagine whoever's on 008 or whatever it is, um, like a non-pay-per-view fight, you know, a smaller one, and you've got KSI's first fight on the card. <laughs> <laughs> Two fights on that, if that's Tommy Fury for the main. Yeah, true. Fight. He could do that to be fair. <laughs> that's no. Joe Fournier is the first fight. Yeah, yeah. But um, there were a lot of scuffle falls in the crowd. Tommy Fury was fighting There's Idris. so many. There's some in Rose Ed fighting. Someone, I saw someone, do you see that, by the way? The one in Rose Ed? Yeah, you see the guy fall down the yeah. stairs? Well, they the security tried to pick him up and like walk down the stairs and dropped him. But even before that, someone hit him and he fell. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crazy shit. And then apparently there's another fight, but I missed that one. Yeah, I saw. Um, yeah, it just just jumped down and kind of went for him. Yeah, yeah. I was confused as well. I thought I saw Leon tweet this by saying like, you know, we all know Tommy's there for JJ's fight. Why are you trying to get involved? But maybe he's doing that on behalf of JJ. It's Although, weird though, isn't it? Like, yeah, there's not really bad blood between Tommy, is there? Well, it's yeah. also like just let let them fight. And I thought JJ after the fight is like, oh man, I'm just Tommy just annoys me. 
<laughs> Mate, he has to build the hatred, though, <laughs> yeah. isn't it? It's actually really annoying. There, yeah, there was another fight to my right. That was to your left. Yes. There was a fight to my right that yeah. was... Um, someone said that it was Tyson or Tommy Fury's cousin. Oh. Fighting one of the uh, like the main guys from the... Saul, Saul, oh, Salderson. Salderson. Yeah. Sunderland. Sunderland. <laughs> <laughs> but great night overall. Good night. Good night. Had fun. I was gassed, you know. There were so many moments that I was like, this is surreal. Mo Farah comes up to me. Oh, true. Comes up to me. By the way, by the way, by the way, this is a message out there for Mo Farrow. If you ever see Simon Miniman at an event. Farrow? That's good. How do I say it? Oh, Farrow. I said yeah. Farrow. Sorry, Mo Farrow. <laughs> Mo Farrow. If you ever see Miniman or Josh Zucker or anyone at an event, don't say, oh, is it all right if I get a photo? You say, photo now. <laughs> Bro, he's so nice. He was so nice. He comes up and he's just like, oh, I'm really sorry to bother you. Like, is it okay if, uh, like, my son gets a picture? So I take a picture of the son. And then, then Mo asks for a photo. He's like, oh, can we get one all together? Like, is that all yeah. right? And I'm like, bro, yes. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Please. Oh, I, and I kicked his prime over. Yeah. That's probably yeah. why I felt I was drunk. That to be fair, the prime was on the, it was literally in the way. I'm not going to say that. <laughs> but yeah, he was, he was such a nice man. And then, and Louis Theroux comes over to us. Oh, Mate. And he comes up to me and Josh and he's just, he's just like, hello, how you doing? And has a long conversation with us for like 10 minutes. Yeah. Although I had met him before and he did say, nice to meet you. <laughs> so I was chatting to Chip. I, I, for some reason, I spoke to him at the last fight for a long, long time. Like he had a really good, he was really nice. He's yeah. like, so how's, how's everything going? And, you know, so I was chatting to Chip and then, and then as we're talking, Louis Theroux goes, he goes, oh, nice to see you, man. Handshake, good to see you again. And well, I, was, I know he remembered you from the last, yeah, the yeah. last fight we were at. Yeah. He came over to you and he yeah. was like, oh, good to see you. Yeah. And then, yeah. and then he walked off and Chip went, wow, you got, you got Paul. So, <laughs> yeah. I, I know Chip, I know. But no, um, it's kind of crazy, isn't it? He, he's a nice, really nice guy. Yeah. And in fact, he's such a nice guy. I wish he was in the documentary. Same. What's that all about? Yeah, it's a bit gut in what, there. So you produced it. Yeah. Get in there, man. Get your face in that documentary. No one wants to see KSI that much. <laughs> you know what I mean? We don't know. Yeah. Yeah, hug him. Y yeah. Yeah. JJ should have hugged Louis through. Yeah. We've seen you, JJ, on YouTube forever. Yeah. Get L Louis through in that documentary. Yeah. And then Joe, Joe Swash came in too. I always say his name wrong. That's the guy I saw and I was like, who is that? But that's him. Yeah. Good job. Love him. By the way, and there was someone else there, but I don't know her name. Stacey Solomon. Yeah. She was behind me in the fight. But She's just with Joe Swash. Ah, they're, they're together. <laughs> yeah. Congrats, guys. Yeah. No. Um, <laughs> they have <laughs> kids. They're, they're we like... took some photos with, with like three, three or four kids and there was a, the mum of those kids is like on TV. Holly Willoughby. No, man. I know who Holly Willoughby is. <laughs> Ah. He knows, no, 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 it's someone else you're saying. Yeah, because I saw her talking to Joe Swish. Swish, <laughs> Joe Swish. Just, just one. <laughs> no, I know who that is. <laughs> I know who Stacey Solomon is. Um, Joe Swash. Now, it's some, some TV presenter or something. She's, yeah, anyway, shout out to you, mum. But it was so, it was so weird, like, being there and just seeing more and more, yeah. like, mainstream celebrities. Yeah. And then, yeah. Well, as, as me and you were saying and both agreed on, JJ is an A-list now, so. Oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. In the UK. In the UK, we're saying it, A-list. Yeah. And not compared to The Rock. <laughs> now, my it point is weird, isn't it though? Like A-list in the UK, The Rock. Like JJ is A-list. As much as you want to argue it, everyone in the comments is gonna be like, he's C-list. I had a big argument with, Matt, with someone's switch chat about it as well. He is. In the UK, we're talking. My argument is that a lot of the A-list that you used to know aren't A-list anymore. So you obviously, yeah, you still got like, you know, The Rock, um, David Beckham. Th yeah, they're all A-list, but like half the actors who used to be A-list, like, you don't even know who they are. I can't even name them. Whereas like in new media, JJ's creeping up there. So in the UK, celebrity wise. He's literally like- On Bake Off. He's on Bake Off. He's boxing at these events that everyone has heard of. He's in the charts. Yeah. And yeah. he's massive on YouTube. Yeah. A-list, He literally hits all demographics. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, I want to say a few more things about what, the fight. You, you do think he's A-list in the UK? No. Now, but you, always ask a boomer. What? Because he'll, you'll, Nick, you'll be my, back in my day. These were A-lists. I know he's only like two. No, years but old. he's he. I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say he's not on the same level as The Rock, David Beckham, which is fair. But they are just higher up in A. Yeah. If there was an S, I would say, or if yeah. there was an A star, they'd be there. You're, you're A-list. Just very, I'm very low A-list. No, no, no. I'm. <laughs> I would say I'm C. Yeah, no, no offense. You'd C. Yeah. I think C. Because J, J, yeah, and, and uh, C might. Uh, I'm questioning whether C might be even too high. 
Because it is one demographic. Well, I'm I'm saying any I'm saying by the way, in that's the UK, insane. Insane. there's no one there's no YouTuber even close to JJ. No. YouTuber wise. So, so I'm, I'm only using A list as like a music, boxing, you know, act not acting, but you know, celebrity T V. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. What would you say? You no. remember that he pays your pays your JJ. Bills. Oh, no, JJ. A list, easy. Okay. Love you, JJ. <laughs> but no, I do, he's a great guy. You no, meet he, Ryan in the weekend. He's a great guy. Um, I had a few, a few more little tidbits to drop in there from the... Uh, from oh, the boxing. Yeah, this is nothing to do with boxing. Okay. But on the night, we were talking about a few things. You think that your dog at 10 years old could yes. beat my daughter at 10 years old in a fight. Yes. There's no way. 100%. Let us know in the comments, guys. Fight to the death. Who wins? Harper. Someone's actually going to un understand this as well. Yeah. So Mushu, at 10 years old, alive... <laughs> What's your dog like a Tibetan Nina? A chow chow. Chow chow, that's the one. <laughs> uh, my dog at 10 years old alive versus yeah. your daughter at 10 years old. Alive too. Alive, but yeah. as in like a dog. Some dogs so my, my argument is that also like Harper is a human so she can utilize objects. So the, the, way this, no, the way this fight works is Harper wakes up. Okay. In her bed. Okay. Mushu comes in the front door. Right, yeah. <laughs> fight to the death, go. Well, so she has to think she has to think there. Like, if she wants a weapon, she has to find it. So from she, there. Is she upstairs or is her bedroom downstairs? Your house. So upstairs then. Uh, Simon's. Oh, Simon's coming to visit. Oh, oh, he's here. Oh, I'll, I'll just get the door. Open the door. Oh, Mushu's got off the leash. Boom. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got Fight. you. Fight. Okay. Here's what happens. Right. Mushu runs upstairs. Yep. Okay. Half runs downstairs. She, she kicks Mushu in the face. Falls down the stairs. Breaks his spine. Sorry. <laughs> Dog dead. <laughs> Sorry, I, mean. <laughs> I think I think, I think that would hurt her foot more than it would move Mushu. Yeah, oh, more than it would move Mushu. Okay. I think Mushu would literally just like turn his head. Mushu a boy, yeah? Yeah. Uh, you notice that his skull is thick. I don't know, I just feel like a person is, is, is 10 years old. I think you're underestimating a 10 year old. Nah. Don't Google 10 year old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say the same. <laughs> I just had a keyboard clacking. <laughs> Um, anyway, under, under under comments, guys, old. I'd love to see how this play, play, plays out. By the way, there will, there will be a future when these are both 10 years old, by the way. You know what I want, actually? I want people to write out scenarios yeah. that happen. I want you to tell a story in the comments. We'll wreck it next time. And we're going to read out the best ones. Yeah, yeah. Be and detailed. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't go too detailed that's going to get demonetized. Like, Harper, nah, in like, Harper picks up a sword. I know. want like, like five lines. Ten. Five to ten lines. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. So it can be a short story. What's funny is in the future, right? I'll be at your house or we'll be somewhere and they'll be, they'll be both 10 years old. And, and we'll be like, yeah, remember when we had like, this argument? What are you guys look, looking at? Like, oh. <laughs> We're both just looking at weapons around the room. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, please, just five minutes. <laughs> I'm hiding everything. And you're like, Harper, take note of that knife. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. But, you know, it's an interesting thing to think about. <laughs> but we'll never know. Ah. Uh. <laughs> We might know. Um, but anyway, that's enough for boxing, man. Is, it, is that enough? Uh, yes. Although, not really to do with the boxing. Yeah. It was at the boxing, but not yeah, to do yeah. with it. Yeah. Gideon was there. Oh, my God. And he sang the national anthem. It was so good, by the way. Like, it, was it was so, so bad, good. but so good. And he started off, you know, and I yeah. thought, this isn't as bad as I thought. And then when he started belting, it just got really bad. I love how he had his phone there. Yeah. It's because, do you know the words? I don't know the words the English one. Exactly. God save our righteous king. Gracious king. Great. So, there you go. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> knows the words, brev. Um, but yeah, boxing is that. Yeah. Yeah, I find him so funny now, you know, now that he's had the hair transplant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but then he, didn't he take it off and then put it back on? Or did he just never took it off? Well, I think it is just stuck on, right? Or something. But I heard, I saw a tweet saying he, took, he, took, he had taken it off. Because he, he yeah, replies to loads of every people tweet, with just a picture of himself. And he's, he's, he's always pouting. Yeah. Like, you know, giving that <laughs> And then stare. he went to the... Um, he went to the uh, post-fight interviews. Yeah. And he says like, oh, he asked a genuine question and then he asked JJ, he was like, oh, so um, seeing the recent events of Gideon's uh, hair transplant, when are you going to fix yours? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he's a king, man. He's yeah. a king. Yeah. But I still can't believe you voted him over Mark Rober. In Did the, I? In the most Men video, I remember. It was Mark Rober. Who's about YouTube? Mark Rober or Gideon? I don't remember who I voted for oh, any of them, to right. be honest. Yeah. Did you see the best the best small Simon video I've been part of for a long time? We played Mafia. Oh, I clicked it, clicked off. Oh. <laughs> Not for it's any reason. It's so good. Is it good? It, purely because we have no, there's, 
when you play Mafia, there are loads of rules. Like, Mafia can kill after the second night and... Uh, you can have a medic that can save someone and yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. We played literally nothing other than one person is the mafia <laughs> and we just vote each other out. Okay. That's it. Yeah. So there's no nothing to go off. Okay. So it's, it sounds like Among Us sessions of ours. Pretty much. Yeah. Like straight away, yeah, Vic Vic opens his. He hasn't even looked at it. We're recording Among Us tomorrow. I think so. Okay. Like we haven't even like looked at it and we're just like, yeah, it's you, bro. It's you, 100%. <laughs> The video is so good. I watched it. So I watched heated. this. Kong gets angry, by the way, John, and you like that you guys don't turn off the other lights in the studio. In which one? In this, in the most having setup, because you can kind of tell when you watch that the, all the lights oh, yeah, are on. That's because we hadn't, didn't have the right lighting. Uh, Do we have it now? Uh, no, because you guys denied the order, so it's coming. Not me. Not you. Not <laughs> don't you. say me. I it's didn't. on its way. It's I did. Well, also, you got a whole new set now, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have new sets for all. All of them. So I want to talk about your new set on Side Plus for okay. the airline, airline one. Okay. Okay, so I like it. Okay. But I didn't at first for one reason. Because the photo you guys put on Twitter, I thought that was the actual shot of the, of What's the set. What's the photo we put on go Twitter? On, go on Side... I don't know which Savin account it is, but it's one of them. That uh, Probably not that one, but give it a go. No, I think it'll be on Side Man. Could be a retweet. No, it's that, one. It's that video. Go up. That's the oh. video of it. But there was a tweet. Go on Side Plus. Click the Side Plus account now. There we go. Give me Nick a lesson in Twitter. That one, that photo there. Go up to the top. Of the banner. Yeah, click it. Scroll, scroll down. Ah, okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> Vic looks so short. <laughs> <laughs> short King. Sorry, Instagram or, or TikTok or whatever, where it's like uh, when, my, when my short king gets into bed and they fling the sheets and he just flies off. <laughs> uh, anyway, what are you on about? Why so, so, so the photo that you, that you guys announced it, I thought that was the actual shot from the wide, you know, from the actual main shot, I thought that was it. It was like off center and stuff. And I was it's like, what's that, going it on? It is that shot. Yeah, but I think it was Go more, up a little bit. But on, on, on the last that. That, that one there. That yeah, one. Yeah, that's that. off center. Yeah. I was like, I ho really hope to God that's not the set. And yeah. then I went on side plus and it wasn't. Yeah, it's, really, it's centered. Yeah, it's way, yeah. But you see what I mean? If that was that, I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, that's definitely John. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> uh, I, I think there's some no I think there's some uh, something further there boys <laughs> but yeah we got a new set for all three sets yeah 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 um, and a new set a, a new four show sets, a new show sets. a new show romances well we're well we're trying out new shows basically because yeah. we've had the same three the whole time yeah with the final fight side cast and uh, Arsa Sidemen but it's really hard to you can't win in terms of some people will always want you to just keep the same shows and some get bored. Yeah. So we change it up every now and then. We're like, okay, no Arsenal Simon this week. Let's do something else. And like loads of the comments are like, this is amazing. This was jokes. And then half of them are also- Bring us- oh, yeah. th This better not replace the other one. Yeah. Change is good, man. If you, you know- for You example, have to stick it out. Yeah. KSI wouldn't be KSI if it wasn't for change. Like Tupac did say, changes. That's not the tune. No, it's not the tune, but it's, it's got a title called that, right? He does, yeah. Quite right, goes. It's a great song. Still, I see no changes. Oh yeah, all I see is racist faces. That's just the way it is. Do 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 do. What a great do, do, song. Do. What a great song. Uh, Chippo was in yeah. the video. Huh? Chippo was in the the launch. It was. He was. Yeah. He was very good. Sick. sick. I love Chip. He By was the way, impressed. he was very impressed. Although he was pissed off. Why? Because John was very petty. Uh, as always. And um, <laughs> <laughs> he made our set. Uh, Sideman Airlines. Yeah which is in the sky above the 165th oh. floor. Yeah. All right, well, definitely you lot took the, the uh, you know, the little clouds in the background, nav that off fellas. <laughs> no. <laughs> Game's the game, man. You got to innovate or you got to, it'll stagnate. Nice. Although the windows don't make sense. They, all go, they all go one way in ours. Oh. When realistically it looks oh. like it should be like that. So they should both be going this way. Yeah, they should. Can we, we can probably change that. I say we. Yeah, you're not part of it. No, but I'm saying, I'm saying <laughs> we as a collective group can get that changed. But yeah, no, cool. Who had the idea of Simon Airlines and why, by the way? Because it's a bit of a weird, weird idea. Can't lie. John. John, what, did you come up with that? Yeah. Why? I just want to know why. Because they travel in private jets and stuff. That's what it is. Uh, mainly. That's the only way we travel. <sighs> that's what it is. That's how I get around London. <laughs> but someone, someone, Henry developed it into the story of Harry burning the set down and then having to escape in the jet. So the idea was- what Is that we, what it is? Yeah. We escaped a small studio fire in a jet. Yeah, well, that's you, 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 <laughs> I, I would that's, say, that's, that's, that's you guys. Should be helicopter really then, right? Yeah. Should be Simon helicopter. Yeah, yeah but they don't, they don't go in helicopters. 
But they would if they were escaping no, the fire. But now no, we no. can create a whole storyline and we can now, the the jet could crash into a deserted <laughs> island and then the next set could be. Yeah, yeah, great, I, great. Well, I'm just saying what it could be, you know? Well, you know, what, you know what I'd love though? I'd love for the fact that like, say if a building did, you know, burn down, everyone's like, oh, quick, quick, get the jet. Yeah. It's like, okay, let's get an Uber to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're in the Uber, you're out of the fire. Yeah, what like. happens? The jet just pulls up in London. You're like, <laughs> anyway, listen, great video, great graphics effects. I don't like that fire though. I'll crap. be honest. Yeah, because the, the fire is You so like, went crap. through so much effort with getting the match. Like, I know. All this stuff, it's just and like I put it in PNG. The, when we got sent the original one, I was like, the fire ones ain't it. The, <laughs> the fire ain't it. And then they just added like a little sparkle before it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The rest it's, of it's sick. Yeah, cool then. Cool, cool. Really the cool. original um, the original trailer that we used had the What's Good set in. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. For what reason? Uh, just as placeholder. A, like a placeholder. Yeah. 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 I reckon... I like. The, I also like the uh, Ash Simon one the most, actually. I really like that one. Yeah, with the posters. Yeah, and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool vibe, and yeah. I like how you guys are facing each other. Yeah, it's way more chill. Yeah. yeah. Although I want video questions in the middle, in, on the screen. Yeah, it'd be dope. No, like, normally they're just on the screen in front of us, and they say like, "Oh, who is the best?" Ah. Blah, blah, blah. But I want it to be like a person that one. saying like, "Hi, hi guys, like who is the best of whatever?" Blah. That'd be great, actually. Yeah. That'd be great. Definitely for what's good when we do our new set, we'll have some headphones somewhere. Not for all the time, but like when we watch. We watch the Liam Payne clip, we just whack it on. Yeah. Because I think, as we, what do we do all the time? I think your idea of this new set doesn't make sense. <laughs> You're like, I want a, I want a sofa each, and then I want a table in front of us, but I don't want any no, no, tables no. in front of us. No, no, you, 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 lot, you lot are taking the mic, man. You, 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 you keep saying <laughs> Has no. Has he not linked? Has he not linked? Uh, I've got John as proof yeah, here. Yeah, okay, okay. He's okay. linked at least six different looking podcasts. I've not linked one. I've shown you in person. Okay, okay. You, guys, you, you, person. you guys go, oh, we don't want a table, so I'll think of something else. It's not me combining them all. No, then you go like, this one, I really like this, and it'll look completely different. And then the next day you'll go, I really like this, and it looks completely nah, man, different. Nah, he keeps fucking, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's not at all what I do. I'm trying to make it work for you. Simon said, fuck all, I'm working off what you're saying. Let's just, let's have a conversation at one point where, we, where, we, where it starts and ends. It starts and ends. Because I'm, I'm, it's different days that you're counting these. How different do you want to evolve? How, I, I, How different do you different want to Different than this, but still, still keep the vibe of what's good, but you know. But completely different, right? Can we, can we put it in a spaceship? So we're even fuck off. Yeah, can we be a, nah, spaceship is- um, TMG. Yeah, Cody Cohen. No. That's a good set, great set. Is, but we can't go spaceship because nah, like, what's above space? Well, hold on, uh, let's, heaven. Let's, let's, let's be not, heaven. Let's, let's not heaven. theme it around something like that. It's a bit childish, if I'm honest. All right. <laughs> every other podcast. <laughs> no, no, theme it, but don't, don't, don't like, like. You Literally know. every podcast. Well, then name one. The Fellas. Yeah, name another it's one. It's a bar. Sidecast. Yeah, but exactly. I don't want to be like them ones. Huh? I don't, I don't want us to be like them ones. I want us to have our own, like, you know. Okay. This is, what, what theme is this? No theme. This is what's good. Well, what's good about it? <laughs> No, it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying we don't need a theme. Just, just, just like elegance, you know. Just like, like a nice set, you know. Class. Class. We love we, a class we gotta, set. We've got to keep the vibe though, for sure. For sure. Blue. Which isn't classy. No, no, no. I'm just saying blue. We've got to keep blue. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you want blue class? I like, by the way, I actually... Our sets that we've done, you think this is your favourite? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, what was yours? My favourite was the first one we did of this. The first one that was his the style. one that was like laminated wood that no, didn't no, no, line no. up. <laughs> the one, the one in that, the one in the your flat. So if we had that, oh, that was just like plain wood. But if, we, if we had that in here though, if we had that, that build was nice. It was really good, like quality wise. I'm just saying. Was it? This is a bit like, I don't know. It's just a bit flimsy. I think this looks way better. What's with all the what's with all the little fucking screws in there? Like, <laughs> yeah, well, you can that. You can you can. <laughs> then we're not filming in high enough quality. Yeah, yeah. That set that you're talking about that was awful. Which one? The first one. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's because we were cramped in there. No. Quality wise. Nick, are you, what are you doing? Are you bringing it up? Yeah, I'm trying to find. Ah, oh, I got you, got you, got you. Um, <laughs> I'm clicking bear, I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing chess. <laughs> are you? Yeah. Can you play chess? Simon? Not that set. That's not even it. But again, we were so close. <laughs> Why are we so close? Because we didn't have room. Room, yeah. I think if you literally just type what's good new set, we probably had it for every single new set. That one's kind of cold. What, the white one? Wasn't it? Click that one real quick. Kind of cute. Nah. It's nah. not. Nah. Good memories though. Good memories, good yeah, memories. Yeah. Humble beginnings, some yeah, would say. Yeah, yeah. 
bat. I like that, man. That looks awful. No, it doesn't. The camera's awful, but if it has good camera work, that I like that. so bad, bro. What, you know what I've what? just realised? We did a studio tour of The Last Place and still haven't done it in here. I know, I know. Well, we're waiting for John to clean it up. And don't tell me we've been waiting for myself. I set up. <laughs> it worked. It set up work. I've been literally streaming in there the other day. I filmed. Bro, we just need to put some cans in the bin. It's clean. I filmed Simon Among Us in there. I filmed. It's uh, a mess in here, bro. There's a half drinking apple slushy over there. It, that, I drank the whole thing. It's so nice. Some there. That was like sweat. Not sorry, not sweat. I'm it's saying like. Green. No, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, you know, you know, you drink a drink and it's like on, on, on the walls of the drink, there's still some liquid in there. That's just like falling down, you know. Right. Oh, what the topics? So I have no idea what to talk about. <laughs> but I'm fed up with misfits, though. I'm, on it. I'm fed up. We should ban it. You know, fellas have banned it. Have they? Ban yeah. Probably this one we'll talk about. JJ one. Yeah, but they banned like like double uh, eight. The middle one. Yeah. What the fuck is double eight, man? Oh, just... We'll do re reacts to it. No, but no uh, predictions. Okay. Or if we do, it's like we could do a separate video. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. yeah. This is an advertisement from BetterHelp Therapy Online. It's so easy to get caught up in what everyone else needs from you and never take a moment to think about what you need from yourself, which is true. You know, I always think I'm, 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 I'm like a yes man. You know. Sometimes. Probably JJ. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Internet trolls. But now nah, I'm always like yes, 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 yes. Sometimes they say no. But when we spend all of our time giving, it can leave us feeling stretched, thin, and burnt out. Therapy can give you the tools to find more balance in your life so you can keep supporting others without leaving yourself behind. And actually, I've been also using BetterHelp myself. Yeah. Every week. Helping. Yeah. I do a session on the phone, not video. I, I, I like to do it on the phone. You can also do text if you want to. Okay. And you can text in midweek too, outside sessions, you know, if you're feeling right. a bit stressed. Well, with over 1,000 therapists in the UK already, BetterHelp can provide access to mental health professionals with a wide variety of expertise in mental health. And our listeners can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash what's good. Bop, 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 bop. That's betterhelp.com slash what's good. Check it out. News. Go on then. Let's see what's in the news, man. Fucking. <laughs> it's better be some good news, John. Elon Musk could bring back Vine. Go on then, John. Tell us what it's about. Well, I mean, I don't know how to expand on that, really. This is literally Well, written. did you not read the article? Well, it's well, written well, no, in that's, the that's title, it isn't it? That's, yeah, I mean, but tell us about it. Oh, what he wants to bring back Vine. He think he's, yeah. he's, he's been hit out a while. Uh, likely to happen. Would but you wasn't care? Vine bought by... Was it bought by Twitter? It was, yeah. I thought it was Facebook. No. Okay. But what I'll tell you about this, by the way, this is what Twitter are doing. I don't know if you know this. So I don't know if you read about this. Uh, I'll expand, John, if you won't. Um, so X... There's an app called X. You started, yeah, so that's what they're doing. They're building X. So the everything app. So Elon Musk. Who is? Elon and Twitter. Okay. So the reason he bought it is to turn it into an app called X, which is the everything app. So that's why he's been putting like the subscribe thing into Twitter. You know, you can subscribe to tweets now. He's been doing like uh, messaging. He's been trying to encrypt that and put voice messages, video messaging in. So what's it gonna, what is going to be on there, obviously? <clears throat> Vine, basically. I guess, so I guess, yeah, he's probably, with this, he'll probably want to then also create something that can rival TikTok, you know, because that's obviously a big player in the game. So I imagine that's where, where they're going. They've got a new CEO, right? Um, Do you know what WeChat Linda. is in China? The, like how WeChat, the app works there? It's like WhatsApp. That's like WhatsApp, yeah. Yeah, but it's like, it's got Uber in it. It's got bank. You can send money to people. You can, it's like videos you can stream on there. WeChat has everything on it. Like you can even go for Mad. Amazon. So that's essentially what X will become. It'll become like WeChat. Okay. Interesting. And there's even like a focus now on like encrypting DMs even more and stuff like that. So people want to use that as a messaging service. Mad. To be fair, he did say um, WhatsApp was dangerous. He said, hmm, I wouldn't trust WhatsApp if I were you. He didn't say it to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Ah, interesting. Okay. Mm, mm. Well, how long do you reckon this will take? Would you use Vine again though, if it when it comes back? I hate the kids out there. Not kids, but I hate the people who say who hold on to Vine still. I'm like, let it go, man. <laughs> like, don't worry. I, I I was the one of the big we were all massive fans of Vine, you know. We would we would swear by it. And then we were for so long saying, Oh, we need a new I wish they could bring Vine back. And then they started teasing Vine too. We all got excited about it. And then TikTok came along, or musically, we were like, ah, it's trash, that's trash, that's trash. But now I don't know anyone who will say Vine was better than TikTok. It's just not. Uh, nostalgia merchants will. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. exactly. Like, I, I'm, I'm not saying that. I can Toby, I can Toby would say that Vine's better, you know. Yeah. True. Awful. Do a, do a poll in the troops chat right now, and put Vine better than TikTok, yes or no. I'll just, I'll just ask it. Um, Vine. Yeah, but I feel like if you do that, if you do 
if you just ask it, whoever asks, answers first will sway everyone else. Yeah, but true, and also, I feel like no one, actually, not often everyone votes in that thing. True. I see them make polls. It's like true, but not everyone replies anyway. Yeah, we'll see. But I think no. I think Vine always had its time. But I think TikTok's everything like Vine and more as well, you know? So, but it is what it is. I mean, I, I, if Elon wants to make a... I, I think bringing Vine back, but then would it be... There's no way you keep it six seconds. There's no way you would do that. No. I, I can't see him doing that at all. Would you guys upload? No. Right, I'm going to pretend I would, but I wouldn't. Let's be honest. We'll, we'll probably upload. Everyone will upload the first... As soon as it opens, we'll, someone will wax into none. Yeah. But then after a while, it'll kind of... We... We are so bad. Like, the troops are so bad at social media. Yeah, I know. Like, I've got a guy now who clips up stuff for me and, like, makes shorts, and I just forget to post them. But, like, looking at... Okay, so you look at everyone's Instagram. Actually, no, 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 no. No, no, no. They've been getting better. Who? Ethan. Josh. Been doing with, some TikTok with, brackets. That's it. They do the brackets because they know that that's the easiest thing they can do in a day. Yeah. Bangs views, though. It, I, think, I think the brackets are normally very... They're, like... They're like my Reddit videos. Yeah. They're, yeah. they're just ones that you're doing to continue posting. Oh, no, for sure. For but sure. it's not, you're not really posting. You're not doing anything creative. You're not doing anything oh, no, 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 funny. Not you're literally but, just yeah. choosing it. But I guess that's what TikTok's for. It's a good, it's, it's good use of the platform. Yeah. But I, I mean, even still, like, yeah. how many have they done? I think actually quite a lot. Josh done about 1,600. Recently? He think, did, he did them and then he stopped. I think he picked stopped. it back up again. He had a, a streak Let of two look. or three. Uh, Zerka. HD. He did one on the first of this month. So right. 17 days ago. <laughs> uh, the 27th. Yeah, yeah. The 25th. 29th of January. Yeah. So he's done three <laughs> since three in the last four months. <laughs> Fair. And just so you know, I haven't done any. But... Best been doing, best been doing more then. <laughs> Come on, boys. I'm, I'm bigging you up here. KSI posted a nice TikTok. If him going, let's do this. Oh, let's fucking go. Okay, Bez did... Wait, no, that's pinned. Uh, 18th of last month. 17th of last month. 17th oh. of last month. 15th of last month. 14th. 6th of last month. Well... And then 22nd of uh, the month before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, everyone does the same thing in our group of... You go through a phase of like... I do it with Insta. Everyone does it. You go, okay, I'm gonna... Oh, I'm gonna stop posting every day. Like I do, I do uh, Insta stories for like a week solid mm -hmm. and I do loads. Yeah. Well, I do like five a day. Yeah. And then I do none for th three months. It's hard, man. But it's just because it's not who we are. We, we're all very like private people apart from videos. I know. So no one wants to do like... Well, these days being a good like influencer or a good social media, you know, person is having your whole life on there. So you go, you go, you go, I don't know, go and get your hair cut. You vlog the journey or you, you, or you do yeah. a little rant after say you don't like it. You know, I, 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 I get my car and leave. <laughs> I forget all the time. I, I even, right? Con was like, are you going to vlog the fight? I was like, no, I don't really do it. And I thought, you know what? I might do because I, I was in London for a few days. So I thought, you know, I'm doing a few different activities. I'll vlog it all. Got to the day of the fight. I thought, fuck. You haven't vlogged <laughs> I haven't anything. I one clip. <laughs> but anyway, let's move on to a different topic. It's my birthday. It was my, it was my birthday. It was your birthday. On Saturday. Yeah. <laughs> At the fight. Misfits. That's fine. Well, I thought I was going to have a crap day, by the way, because I realised, you know, I, I obviously don't live in London now for you guys listening and watching. So I travelled in for Calyx video. Wow, what a great video. We shot a Calyx video coming soon. I'm not going to say what it is, but it's a banger. I think it might be a banger. Is it? We'll see. We'll see. Everyone then, in the chat was like, I don't know what the video is. Nah, but it was, it, <laughs> I'm excited to see the edit because it's funny, man. It was funny. Could either be... Well, let's just see. Let's just see. So I was in London for that. Uh, and then Friday... Did something with you lot. Then I went shopping. Well, you didn't go shopping, but yeah, you know. Um, and then the fight. So I was here for three days. And I, what, I, what I'll tell you is, I love London. I love being back. I miss it so much. It is fun to come back for a little bit. Bro, it's so good, man. You'd hate it if you were here for. No, nah, I would not. I would not. I fucking love it. Bro, I wake up, go and get a coffee. Amazing. And I also, you know, what I had, I had like a speck. Do they not have coffees up north? Yeah, they do. But you have to drive to go get it. You know, get a I coffee machine. No, I make coffee in my house. But I'm saying yeah. like it's not it's not the same. Like getting out of the hotel and being in, you know, London is so great. I love it. And everyone's like, oh, rat race, everyone's out and about, you know, talking, loving life, go to coffee shop. Oh, they all they, hate life. They don't, they love it. London, they hate life. No, no, no. But they, you get the creative ones who like are so pretentious, but you love overhearing them. I was overhearing these girls talk, I'm like, wow, this is such an awful conversation. But <laughs> I like hearing it, you know. Um she was like, Oh my boss, you know. I I won't say it in case I'm like you know, it could be like 
<laughs> what? I now I need to know. She was saying her boss <laughs> has got a toy. Her, her boss is touring at the end of the year. Mad. Touring yeah. what? Uh, music with oh. some band, you know? Anyway, um, I ordered. You carry on, bro. bro, bro <laughs> I'm, tra I'm trying hard. to do it subtle. I'm trying to be like, oh, could you pass a water, please? Oh, oh. But you're like, you just. <laughs> yeah, because I'm like, what's, what's going on? What are you doing? Just what's say, what's happening? Just say, John, get me a water now. Because then that would have interrupted you. Nah, this is me more. For the people on, like listening just to the voice. Thank you. Uh, anyway, for the people just hearing voices, you could have carried on your after story. After that rude interruption. Where, else, where was that? No, I don't care anymore. No, I, I, I was at a coffee care. shop. I was at a coffee shop, right? I don't care. Guess I was eating. Coffee. No, I was eating a focaccia. Do you know what that is? Yes. You, you don't get that up north. You don't get focaccias up north. Yeah, you do. Nah, not a- North, north of Italy. It was a, <laughs> yeah. It was a speck and brie and honey. I'm not sure what speck is. You. <laughs> you specky dick. <laughs> specky dick. Uh, is it, I think, is it, is it ham? What is speck? Yeah, because I, I, I thought it was- Speck. I was worried at first it was vegetarian, but I, I just, I like brie. Oh, truffle. Worried. And truffle. Truffle, love truffle. That sounds awful. Speck. Yeah, it was, it was so nice, man. So I ate that, and then guess what I did? Then I went and watched Newcastle and Leeds oh. with Freezy and a couple of us. Oh, that game. Pain. And Harry, by the way, he came halfway through. He brought me a little bag. And it said happy birthday on it. And inside was a donut. Mad. Yeah, and on the- on Oh, the, I was actually gonna bring you a present. Well, I forgot. You know. you, I'll tell you what it is. That's the measure of the man. What? Do you wanna know what it was? Yeah. I was gonna bring you one of every flavor of the American Prime Energies. Oh, what a fucking treat that is. Yeah. You still have them at home? Yeah. All right, next time I come to your house, keep okay. them to the side. I love or remind own. me before the next podcast. I don't want you to have to bring them all. I don't mind. New flavor coming out. You, it's, it's, you should have it at your, at your house. Is there? Prime lemonade. Oh, yeah. We tried that already? No, but it's not new. Well, you, it's new to you. It is, but they literally, you know, it was a whole thing in America uh, like have a you, month have you, ago. Have you had it in your mouth? No, but- Then it's new to you. Okay, is uh, penis new? No. <laughs> I haven't had that in my mouth. Oh, I thought you were asking me. <laughs> Have you had it in your mouth? Yes. <laughs> no, I haven't really. Um, but no, and then and then after that, went home for a nap, watched Forest, get a point at Chelsea. Yeah. Very good point. And then went to the fight. Went to Freezy's before the fight, had a glass of whiskey. Nice. Saw the dog, his dog, hated me. Literally, what, what, guess this, right? Hated me. Walked through the door, bark, 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 nonstop, nonstop. I even fed it some chicken to try and like warm it up. Didn't like it. Well, that like chicken did like me, warm the dog up. Then, then Freezy leaves, right? Next minute, he comes back in and the dog is on here, like licking my nose. I thought, whoa, I thought, don't show him too much, man. <laughs> <laughs> so be, did he hate you or not? In the end, he loved me. Oh. You know, give me a little kiss and all that. Yeah. But, and also I was reminiscent about the days where I used to have a Dashund website. Do you ever remember this? No. I, I used to have a dash, I used to have a drop shipping Dashund website called Dashund Day. You sold dogs. No, I sold <laughs> accessories of Dashunds. Okay. If you go on Facebook, and I got a Facebook video to hit 14 million views. Mad. Yeah. So I would, I would it was drop shipping. So I just buy it on AliExpress, ship it over to America. The reason I stopped, I actually made some money on it. I probably made like 60K on it. It wasn't all profit because I spent a lot on Facebook ads. But the reason I stopped it is because we used to sell phone, I used to sell phone cases and I was so fed up of the Karens in America ordering the wrong phone case for their phone. <laughs> They're like, oh, it didn't fit my phone. I'm like, yeah, you idiot. You bought a fucking Android case for an <laughs> iPhone. Or you bought, you, bought, or you bought like an Android uh, iPhone 6 case and you got an iPhone 8 and they had to send it back. And it's, it's long, man. Hard life, man. It was hard, but yeah, got over it. <laughs> but yeah, had a good, had a good week. But I mean, and then oh, I made a, made a stupid decision. Made the, made the worst decision of my life. What? To go home yesterday. Oh. Yeah. That was the worst decision. Sounds awful. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll tell you how awful it was. Okay. Okay. So we, we go out a little bit after the uh, fight, have a bit to drink. Yeah. Wake up the next day at 10 o'clock. And, and my, for those who listen, my dad drives me to the podcast and back. So I was, and I knew he was driving me Monday. So I was like, there's no point him driving to get me on Sunday going all the way back again to then do the same Monday. So I was like, I'll just book a cab. So I booked the cab. Guess how much the cab cost? Uh, 265 pounds. 427 pounds. Mad. For what? I got home and I was knackered. So I ended up just watching football and going to bed. Oh, yeah, I mean, you saw you. I saw Harper. I saw, saw Harper. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But then, but then, and then this morning, it's half just, five. That's priceless. It is priceless, yeah. And then half five this morning to get back here. Jeez. Could have booked another night at the hotel, but you know, here's what it is. I'm here now. And then you're back down Wednesday as well. Yeah, but that's why I went home. Cause I was like, ugh, anyway, life. Also, um, I did sleep for five hours last night. 
That's not good. That is good. That's not good. Bro, what? That is good on the, I have to get here at half five. That's half five. Yeah. What time would you want me to get to bed then? Nine. N fuck off. You would never go to bed at nine o'clock. You would, you would actually. But now I, 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 I'd I, sleep I, on the journey. I went down. into bed at like half 10 and I probably, uh, my whoop says I fell asleep at midnight. Did you sleep on the journey? Yeah. Oh. So I probably like, I probably got actually like seven hours total. Well, there you go. Thank you. But I mean, I don't count sleeping on the way. He said to me the other day, after the whole argument about not sleeping, oh, he yeah. said to me the other day, he's like, I'm actually going to try and sleep more, you know? Yeah. I realised that. <laughs> after all of that. Well, no, again, after again. Five I was, hours is good. I was, Six hours I was is playing good. the devil's advocate. And also, by the way, I want to be very clear. I was only saying that stuff because you came at me. <laughs> you know? No, you said, oh, I sleep fine. Yeah, you, you told me, no wonder you struggle sleeping. And I'm like, I don't struggle sleeping. I just choose not to on those days. When I, you know, but no, you should really, you should not have caffeine in the morning. You should wait a little bit. You know, you should not have caffeine towards you the end of the You were saying you had a prime energy at like 11 p.m. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. And then you're like, oh, I don't struggle to sleep. I just choose not to. It's because yeah. you're awake. No, no, that, that that night, I'm saying, if I if I was like, oh, I really struggle to sleep, man. I didn't get any sleep. I would not say that if on the night I had a prime, that makes sense. No, but you think you don't struggle to sleep because you stay awake. And the reason you're awake is because you just had caffeine. No, because it's more like I chose to stream. Like, I, I, if, I'm saying if I went to bed, if I, if I if I if I'm in bed and I'm like struggling to sleep, then I'll say yeah, my bad. But I, I'm I'm on my computer or I'm like on stream or I'm you know, uh, you know. Anyway, anyway, any more topics? Anyone? <laughs> Did you see this YouTuber that uh, crashed a plane? Yeah, facing twenty mil. Sorry, years twenty facing twenty years. Very different. <laughs> yeah, that is mad. Would you therefore would you rather have twenty million or go to jail? <laughs> <laughs> This that, is a tough one. <laughs> Would I rather pay 20 mil or go to jail for 20 years? I'd be in debt 20 mil. No, there's a question in here. There's a question brewing. It's not that though. Is there? Yeah. Okay. Would you take 20 million to go to jail for 20 years? No. No way. Neither would I. No. What's the amount that you would? For 20 years, there isn't. True. Okay, let's go, let's go lower. Five years. How much would you take to go to jail for five years? Wait, there's, a lot, there's a lot of follow-up questions. I'm gonna intro it again for TikTok. How much would you pay? Oh, that's not, wrong. not even pay, is it? It's how much would you have to be paid? If you had to be paid to go to jail for five years, how much would you want? Uh, it depends though. What kind of jail are we talking? Prison. <laughs> yes. What? But are we talking like one of them like yeah. serious ones? Or am I in one of the nice rooms with like okay, you, where they got a TV in there and you're not in, you're not in a rich one, so you're not in like a white collar one. Okay. But you are in one that's not too crazy. You're not gonna get. I'm not gonna get murdered. You're not gonna get murdered. You might get beat up a little bit, like roughed up. You might, you know. Oh, if I if I step out of line, yeah, I'll who get, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, yeah. Um, or you get some five food years. In your face. Nah, it's just not like a billion. A billion. It's just not. I don't like. It's five years though. Five years. How old are you now? Thirty. 30. Yeah. It's just yeah. not worth if it. If you're 25. You probably think about it. It's just nothing like. You can't even click about that either. You can't even come out and say, "Hey, I went to jail five years ago." <laughs> <laughs> well, how much for you? Hundred mil. Hundred mil to go five years. Yeah. That's it. That. Do you get paid while you're in jail? Is it as soon as you get in there? No. Ah, uh, that'd be great. You can start planning to give it to family. No, you get it when you get out. But it's tax free. Ah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Cool. Um, yeah, 100 mil. I think 100 mil. How about I you, John? Can, yeah, I was going to say, John, <laughs> John's going to be really low. John's is like, oh, just more than this wage. <laughs> no, I'd do 50, 50 mil. That's, 50 that's, mil? Mate, I like time. You're bougie now. It's time. Ever since, you didn't, time. Say, ever since you didn't say thank you for that private jet. Oh, for fuck's sake. Bougie. He is getting bougie. Yeah. yeah. He is. You know when he spilt on a private jet and then didn't clean it up? He's... Oh. He literally I, threw I some napkins on. He threw up. some napkins on the floor as the air hostess came out and said, clean up. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Exactly. I've realised he does love private jets, you know. Yeah. He's even built a whole set back around one. Yeah. He loves it. Yeah. I mean, they are quite cool. We prefer less polluting methods of transport. <laughs> well, maybe you should start taking them then. I got a line bike here. Cool. Thank Ooh. you. I'd Thank argue you. a line bike is less applorable than a Boris bike. You should have got that one. They're not called Boris bikes. Something and they're the exact same, aren't they? No, they're not electric. Land bikes are electric. Yeah, Boris bikes not? No. No, some of most of them aren't. Are they not? No. Maybe the new ones that you have. <laughs> I've never seen an electric Boris bike. <laughs> Big fuckers they are. 
Well, yeah, but I still have to get here. No, 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 man, I don't care. How'd you get here? You drove. Yeah, in a, in a polluting car. Exactly. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. What else we got? <laughs> Questions to generate conversation. Yeah, this, this is hard, man. You guys are just going to slag them, but just pick one of them. Ah, oh, Simon. Deepest regrets. Uh, letting John choose the topics. <laughs> <laughs> I love that, one, that time where he was like, uh, he wasn't here. Having a baby or something, kind of selfish, really. Um, and he was like, "How did the questions go?" And it was a sharky one where <laughs> we did the quiz. <laughs> we had three questions, <laughs> three que- and then there was a shark tier list. Yeah, shark tier. <laughs> what, oh, John? What was going through your head when you did a shark tier list? I was, mate. I just had the fucking kid. It was late. It was like four a.m. I'm He's like, shark. What can I do? Shark. All right, shark tier list. All right. <laughs> well, it's funny. Shark. It's Imagine getting someone like Sharky who's got a lot to talk about, and just being like, actually. Nah, 30 minutes, we're going to do a shark tier list. Let's get settled in. Are you harsh on yourselves and others? For sure. Oh, oh, do you know the spotlight effect? No. It's where we think that everyone in life like thinks about us or cares about us, you know, when in, re- in reality they don't. So we get really bound and really caught up about, oh, our appearance or what am I wearing today? Because we think that everyone when we're is, out is looking at us. Is that big headedness or is that paranoia then it is, well, it's got, obviously well, it's not either of those but it's, it's got elements of those in it it's not big headedness it's more but like is it like i think everyone's looking at me because of the position i'm in or is it just like oh i just don't want to be out of I, place I, okay i think for us it's a little bit elevated because I, I i have that feeling that everyone's looking at me because of youtube as well but not but not because not in a big headed way in like a more the opposite way, in like, a, I don't want this. I don't like. I don't like this, you know. But I think people have it. It's not. It's not. I don't think it is a big-headed thing. I think it is. Um, it is. It's a, bit, it's a bit egotistical, but not on purpose, though. It's just like a natural thing that people we all feel, you know. And that's why. Oh, are we dressed right? Are we, are we looking right? Oh, my hair's not done right today. You think everyone looking at you is gonna be like, oh, look at that guy's hair? They don't. Yeah. They don't care as much, you know. Um. Yeah. I mean, we all have that a little bit, but sure. then we literally see the immediate feedback of it. Like, like you post a video. Like if I posted oh, a video yeah, and yeah. I've, you know, um, my my ass is showing. Yeah. Every single comment is going to be like, oh my yeah. God, his ass is out. Yeah, but I'm, but I'm saying more about like in person, out and about in the streets. Yeah, that. Yeah, not 100%. People yeah. don't, people don't care. Yeah, they don't care. Yeah. But it's annoying, man. It is annoying. Is it? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I moved on to a new one, but I have to move my whole head to do it. <laughs> yeah, it looks too obvious. Can you read one? <laughs> Uh, whose lifestyle, if anyone's, are you envious of? Lifestyle? Yeah. Ah. Anyone that we know, John? Yeah, anyone that you know. Or, or don't know. Or like anyone in life. Up to you. Okay. Anyone I'm envious of in terms of their lifestyle. Is envious the bad one or is jealous the bad one? They're both kind of bad. Because one of them is like, I wish I had that instead of you. One of them's just like, oh, I wish I could do that as well. Ah, uh, yes. Jealousy's worse. Jealousy's, Jealousy's, Jealousy's worse. worse. Yeah, there's envious. Is, it's envious. okay to be envious. Okay. Because envious sounds mean. You know what I mean? Like I'm yeah. envious of you. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there's things there are there are times Envy. where like I look at like Harry, for example. Yeah. And he goes off all the time. Yeah. He's just like, All right, next week I'm going golfing in Portugal. Next week I'm going <sighs> yeah, skiing in Switzerland. And I do get envious of that because I think, Okay, what am I doing next week? I'm filming second channel videos. Yeah, but that that one there is like we could we could choose that, right? Yeah. I, I'm I, yeah. But that's where it's it's a mix because as much as we could choose it, we don't. Why don't we? Because our mindsets are different. Who in the side, man, do you think is the happiest? Would you say Harry? Um, I don't. Uh, different question. Then. Who's the most fulfilled? Not not happy. Who's the most fulfilled in the side, man? Harry. Fulfilled, Harry. Yeah. Happiest. I don't know if I'd go Harry. No, but that's why. That's not me saying he's sad. By the no, way, no, ha- ha- like- happiest is not a nice one to do. Fulfilled is a better one to do. I think because fulfilled means that you're not satisfied with where you're at yet. You know. Yeah, I think he is. I think he. I think yeah, he, Harry, I would say, is most fulfilled for sure. Yeah, yeah. After that, it's weird. JJ would be near the bottom. He would be, and he's done the most. Yeah, and he has this little boy now. Prime. Yeah, but he won't ever be fulfilled. No, he won't be. Uh, I, but, I, I do get worried that's okay. going to be like a lifetime. So thing. going back to the envious of who I am envious of, I have friends at home who I would say I'm envious of. You know, and okay. they would, and then they would look at me and go, "Oh wow, like they've got the perfect life." You know, but I say, "No, no, no." I say the opposite because I have this thing on my head where it's like I have to be doing this thing I'm doing now. Like people will disagree in the comments, but fuck you. But I'm saying like I would love if I could just go. I'm not saying I'm not saying I want a shit job at all. I want like a good fulfilling job. I want yeah. a job where I just wake up, you know, live that, 
get get home, you know, watch TV or, you know. Yeah, but then you'd do it and you'd hate it. Yeah. I was on to Freezy because me and Freezy <clears> were driving through London and we saw like um, everyone going to work. And I was like, I'm, I said to him, I'm, like, I'm so lucky that we ended up doing this YouTube thing because like, imagine if we had to do this, you know, waking up at like seven, going work, all this stuff. But then actually I said to him, like how we, we, we kind of had a conversation and so would you enjoy it? He's like, nah, but I would, I, we both kind of agreed that we would do the job as quick as possible. But you, that's not how jobs no, no, work. So, no, no, but I'm saying like, I'm saying so then I can have more time in my mental to then do other things, but then that would end up leading me to do that YouTube stuff again anyway. Yeah, that's that's also not how normal jobs work. You can do that, you can for sure. Like, if you've got a job, you've got like tasks, you can get the tasks done. So you can- Very few though. Nah, you can. Like most jobs, am I not right in saying that? Most jobs you can't just go, all right, I'll do the task. That's why I was like, I have to do something like YouTube because I am like a straight just, give me my task for the day yeah, and I won't take lunch break. I won't take a break. I'll do it and nah, finish early. Nah, so, so I'm saying, I'm saying, obviously you still, you still have to, you still have to do the the, the time period. Yeah. But I'm saying in that, in the, say if you finish your job, say, say you've got two hours to finish a task and you do it in an hour. I'm saying you've got the hour now to kind of like. No, a job, you have to do something else. It's nah, a mix nah, nah, these nah. days. There are more jobs that are becoming task-based jobs, but a lot are still just nine to five, like you have to be in the office. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm saying I would lie. I'm saying, I'm saying I'll pretend I'm taking two hours. That's what I'm saying. So, you know. But the like, it's changed with rem remote working. Yeah, I get that. But I don't think the ability to just go, oh, I'd get a job and then just do the job really quick and then just have to spend the rest of the time being creative, I, that doesn't work. You, no, of course it does. It doesn't. Because well, you, well, like, you, don't, you, don't, you don't have someone sat there all, all day watching you. Someone's not there on your desk like, watching, watching you work. <laughs> so I, I'm saying, I'm saying, I would tab it. I would fucking tab it. I'd have like fucking, I don't know. I don't know, like... But they are, they are assigning you an amount of work that they think is taking that time. Yeah, they don't know, man. But anyway, only in a very short, like... And if you're doing it in, like, say it's a three-hour job and you're like, I'll do it in an hour and then I'll have the rest of the time... Bro, I know like, people, especially hours. remote, I don't know people remote who do three jobs. They should work three jobs. Yeah. Have, like, fucking two laptops on the go. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is I'm envious of the people who just go, who just, just you know, are happy. Because they just, they just don't expect themselves to do too much. Um, and that's not a bad way. It's not a bad thing. It's just, you know, I, I have this thing that I'm always like, oh, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. You don't have to. You could just, I, I, I could literally change my life now and like have it so in the evenings, you know, I do work nine to five and evenings I'm saying my phone's off and stuff like that, but we, should, we should don't, don't do it. Or have two phones where it's I have like, thought about that. Yeah. I have thought about really setting myself like, but Sidemen doesn't allow it. Well, but uh, yeah, but you could, but like Harry would kind of have his setup where it's like, he just Sidemen then, then fucks off. Yeah. But we could literally just say like, okay, for example, my second channel, if I set myself, I'm going to do nine to five twice a week. Yeah. Eight hours solid of, if I'm actually productive yeah. and I'm just like, all right, I'm going to make videos. That'd be me done for time. Yeah. yeah. And then the other days I can do other stuff. Yeah. Because as much as, so I would say with our job, a normal day, say it's here, a normal day for us is like happier because you, you're working for yourself. You're doing what you want. Yeah. But you don't have like the feeling of a weekend. No. Because you're not like, I don't have a, like, oh, it's Friday. But that's why I was saying that, like, you know, even I don't really have the time for like, I don't, I don't switch off enough. Like, you, you'll switch off recently, I've noticed. Yeah. Like movies and that. Yeah. That's good, man. But I just Sometimes. can't switch off. I, I, I used to have this thing, not anymore, but well, I don't really go to cinema anymore. But I used to have this thing where I'd go to cinema and I'd feel sick watching a film. What, because you, you're like, I should be doing something else. Yeah. Yeah, I get that. Hey, yeah. But then, but then I'd like it with music because so I'd watch the movie, get inspired, and go home and make a song. But like, you know, yeah, but I'd be like, watch someone text me back in the back in the day. I'm like, what if someone's like, you know, doing this? Or what? I'm like really nervous, but yeah, yeah. Um, oh, this is a good one. This is a, this is actually a really interesting one. John, by the way, John, all this shit here is what I think the whole podcast should be. <laughs> okay, and we should know we should know them in our head before. Okay, a few of them. Uh, but what do you want your average day to look like in your sixties? My sixties. Yeah, it's just, it's, for us. This is really hard. And I, I, when I say for us, I don't mean like me and you. I mean like for our age group. Why? Because back in the day, right? You know, back in the day, people who we know to be 60, 70, back in the, their day, they were you know out farming. You know, sorry, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> I saw all sixty-year-olds used to do. No, I'm saying like in the garden. I'm saying you know doing some gardening. You know, putting like some plants up. You know, putting a shed up. You know, what do we do now? We sit on cod. Yeah. So what are we going to be doing when we're 60? What do I want an average we, we, to look we like? We think that we'll be playing COD still. Or we'll, we'll, we'll still like get- we Overwatch 2, that's what I'm saying. Oh, oh, oh. We'll still be there. We're so slow, you know? But yeah, yeah. What, do you, what do you want 60 to be like? Um, I mean, I definitely want to take up golf by then. 
We have to catch up, by the way. But with everyone else? Yeah. Yeah. I think we can. <sighs> well, yeah, it's more just because, like, golf is the only thing that you can get better at with age. Really? Well, like football, you, you literally are becoming less physical. My friend, I'm introduced to bowls. <laughs> you shouldn't start bowls until you're 60. Well, when we start, when we're 60, I'll have had 30 years, mate. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that's the easiest sport ever, right? Just whack up there. Yeah. <laughs> Could do bowling at 60. I, I just, I just, I just think even even now at, at 29, I think bowling is for fucking 12 year olds, man. You literally just said you play bowls. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm old <laughs> you're, now. Yeah, you're 60. <laughs> Don't you think bowling? I like bowling, by the way. When I go, I always forget how much I enjoy it. But you know, when someone's like, "Oh, should we go bowling?" I'm like, ah, "What bowling? <laughs> <laughs> Would you want like a laser quest after?" <laughs> yeah. Same. I mean, same. Same. I, I <laughs> That'd be jokes. I went laser quest recently. I'm not gonna lie, I've been, I went, what, when did I go? I went like three or four years ago, yeah. or like five years ago, something like that. It's awful. <laughs> it was so bad. Why? We just sweated and like, you realize that you're holding these like little toys. That didn't work. Yeah. But when you're a kid, you're like, oh my God, like looking down the scopes oh, and stuff. Like barrel rolls and shit down yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. And they're like, no running. And you're like, you gotta catch <laughs> me. Like, no oh running. Yeah, I'm literally James Bond right now, mate. <laughs> Tell him no running. And they're like, you can't lie on the floor as well is another thing. But there was, in the one we had near us, there was like a big, uh, there was a cowboy area. You're a camper, aren't you? You camp. No, but there was a wagon. Yeah. And like, when I know that they're coming, I'm like, okay, you want to hide to get the shot on. So you got under the wagon. Yeah. And they're like, you can't lie down. I'm like, well, why would you put a wagon with a space underneath? True, true. Like that's perfect. Yeah, that is perfect. Yeah. 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 But no, in 60s then, go on. Um, like how many grandkids? Do you have grandkids? Are you visiting there? Yeah, grandkids, but they're most average day, they'll be at school. Yeah, I, I don't want like, what do you want your life to look like in six, you know, 60s? I want like, what's your day? What's your actual day? See, we don't, we, you can't say your grandkids or not, we don't know. But like- Average day, I would say, some form of physical activity, like golf. Mm-hmm. N- you know, not like, I'm not gonna go play football. Or How something. about I might, bird, but- bird watching? No. Did you see Chris and Dion <laughs> Mastermind? I haven't watched it yet, I need to. You can react to it? Yeah. Can I say his category? Uh, I know it, it Birds is, of prey. yeah. Yeah, he did it ages ago. He filmed it ages ago. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah he has no beard on that one. Yeah. He's got beard, little beard now, looks good. Yeah. yeah. Done the minimum Yeah. He's what? still short. She is still short. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, some form of physical activity like golf, something like that. Uh, some family time. Yeah, of course. Um, Are you working? And then, yeah, I probably working. do like, nah, like some form of like hour or two of like, just checking up on stuff. Emails. Dear, dear. I don't know what. Dear Zerka. Because in my head, part I hope of- this letter finds you well. <laughs> <laughs> in my head, I want to have everything that I'm part of, like sold by that point or like done or whatever. Yeah. But I think I'd get bored. So I would want some it's form of project. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I might, I'd probably be like Jamie, you know, I'd take up a random. Are you saying that he's 60? No, but he has, he has a weird mindset of like, he sees something and takes it up. That's now that he does that now. Yeah. So you got. You so got I'm saying and... I'll do that when I'm 60. Okay, yeah. Maybe, maybe by then you'll learn sign language. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you know. You know. So uh, I messaged him. What was it about? I messaged him about something, and he basically said, "Oh yeah, give me a minute. I'm just building this desk or something." And I was like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, I've built." He was like, "I built a chair for Rose. I've built a That's desk. Sick. I've built this." He was like, "If you want anything, let me know." And he was just showing me around his house, like he's built, built this. this. I built this. I built this. I That's built this. Sick. Yeah. And I was like, this is what I want to do. Yeah. But not yet. Not yet. But yeah, then like he has that mindset of building stuff. I have friends at home who just build stuff. Yeah. But my mate just built a pizza oven. Cold. Well, my mate built a pizza oven. Adam yeah. Jamili built one. Oh, he's, yeah. I don't have friends like that. <laughs> Your friends are KSI? Yeah, no, sorry, I do. But I'm saying my friend who built his pizza oven is like, you know, just back at home. He doesn't, he's oh. not a sprinter. Plays guitar though. Yeah, Adam Jamili can't. Probably can. Probably can. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely can. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Your 60s sounds, uh, sounds you know, I'll travel. You? I'll probably travel. I'll travel. Yeah, I will travel, but uh, it just depends. Yeah, no, I'll definitely travel. That's not an average day. True. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> could be. Could actually be. Cruises. Thoughts on cruises? No, no, no. Not no, for no, you. No, no, no. You like boats? I don't mind boats, but the thought of like that many people in that small an area. Yeah. It's just, uh, don't like it. What about you? What's an average day for you? Average day, I'm 60. Okay, here we go. Here's my day, okay? Wake up. 
Nice. 8 a.m. Th thanks, thanks, thanks. I, I might not be here by 8.60, who knows? True. 8 a.m., wake up, right? I make eggs and soldiers. No, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Okay. When I'm 60, I'll definitely have my own egg holder, egg cup holder. That's that's one thing actually I take back. I want to, I'll, I'll be cooking then. Because I don't know how to cook anything. But you when I'm 60, I'll have so much time and uh, like Tali will be like, I'm fucking fed up of cooking you food, okay? So. You can make a soft boiled egg though. I can do that. Yeah, so you, okay. Yeah, I'll yeah. continue. I'm not saying I'm going to be an amazing chef. I'm just saying like, I'll, by that point, I'll probably start cooking What can myself. you cook now? I, I, I reckon you can Nothing, cook. bro. Really? Nothing. Scrambled egg? I, uh, yeah. Just, just. It wouldn't probably taste good. Really? I'd struggle. Pasta? I can, depends what you mean by pasta. Like I can cook spaghetti bolognese with dummy or sauce. But that's not cooking. That's heating up pasta. I, I think cooking is providing yourself with food. Well, then I can go to the shops and buy an apple. Is that cooking? No, but if you then cook up the apple, put it into the oven with some pastry, <laughs> apple pie. That's baking though. Anyway, listen, I will wake up. I'll have eggs and soldiers, soft boiled egg, crack the top open. I'll have my own egg cup holder and I want one that has like a bit of movement to it. Okay. So it's not just like a solid pot one. It's okay. all a little spring yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and I'd get my toast, dip it, not sourdough. I fucking hate that, man. Okay. I like it, but that's not fair, in the setting. Fair. Dip it in. How do you like your toast, uh, toast buttered and toasted? You go, you go burnt or you go- No, no, no. Golden? No. Golden. And I don't have it buttered. Fuck. Just end the podcast. I'm not joking. No, I don't have a butter. That's, like that's you're you're tasting the egg. So why would you put butter on it? What to make the bread soft? To make it toast then have soft. bread. No, to make to Hold on. If you weren't gonna have <laughs> if you weren't gonna have eggs, would you have would you toast it? Would you butter it then? So what am I having? Just toast. Yes, of course I would. That would yeah. be plain toast. That'd be the driest thing in the world. Okay, I, but I, you're using egg on the toast, it's, right? It still make it still makes it nicer. Nah. It doesn't. I, I thought you were going to tell me you don't even butter your toast. Do you guys butter your toast? Okay, thank God. Honestly, I would actually- I do butter my toast. I would have ended the podcast if you said that. What? That's the most weirdest thing I've ever said. If I eat dry in, toast. In America, they don't butter their bread, you know, for sandwiches. I don't for some. Like, <laughs> don't raise your hand at me. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> that, was most, that was most heartfelt. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Oh, no, like, okay. So if I was making like a, a cheese salad sandwich, I don't know, something like that. A BLT. I wouldn't bother mayonnaise. I wouldn't have mayonnaise. It's, butter. It, I wouldn't. No. You want butter? No. You, that's, a, that's a mayonnaise sandwich. Wouldn't. No, okay. No matter what. No matter what, a lot. no matter what sandwich you have. No matter what you have on toast. You get the toast or the bread. You butter it before you do anything else. You no. butter it. The only time you don't. The only. <laughs> okay. The only time you don't is when you're really, really sick. Dry toast. Only then. No. What? Then you'll butter it. Yeah. Weird. I'd have marmite then. What? Okay, just, <laughs> nah, nah, I'm not even getting get tricked with that. I would. I know, but I'm not even gonna let myself get in. Do you have Mar Do you like Marmite? No. No, don't act shocked. I've, no one likes Marmite. P -p People don't like Marmite. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> People don't like Marmite. Yeah, and they're wrong. Okay, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll well, hold on, hold on. So you're dipping your soldiers into egg with no butter on them? Yeah. Because if you put if you put butter on it, right, as you said, it makes it soft. Yeah. Then you got some limp piece of bread. No, no, no. You toast it enough so that it stays hard. Oh, oh. So you have it. You have it burnt. No, not not burnt. I have it golden. Also, by the way, you know if you burn, if you burn toast, you can just you know you can just get rid of it. Yeah, I know. I never the crust's not really though. No, nah, not the crust. But yeah, the middle part. Yeah, you just scrape it off. <laughs> My dad loves burnt toast, right? And the most annoying part is he doesn't accept anyone else to have it less either. So like, if he if he makes toast for you, it just, it just comes burnt. And like, dad, <laughs> not everyone likes burnt toast, mate. Get a grip. One time when I was younger, um, me and Laura first going out, she was over and uh, he made us toast. And I think I went somewhere. Oh, she was there with a friend actually as well. And I came back and they'd hid toast in my wardrobe, in my drawer, between my clothes. That's really annoying, isn't it? That's really weird. <laughs> like, that's <laughs> so weird. I don't think you understand how, that's not just annoying. That, I don't think you understand the like, severity of that. Is it? Like, there should be tests run at your house. <laughs> It wasn't my house, it's not my family. It was Laura. Oh, there should be tests run. <laughs> now, in my house now, yeah, yeah. And it, you you haven't got past your fucking breakfast. Okay, bre I have that, I have that. You um, have a wobbly egg. Wobbly egg with that. Then I'll probably, I probably will have a dog at that point. Okay. I kind of, when I, when I saw Freeze's dog, and if I saw your dog as well, I'd probably like, oh, I'd, love, I'd, like, I'd like to get a dog, but I don't want a dog and baby just yet. It's too much fun. That's fair, that's fair. When, it, when it's older, she's older, sorry. Um, Yeah. That's your day. Yeah. You you really focused on your egg, and I'll probably have a dog. 
We've got time. I have, yeah, no, I've seen you've had time for oh. the podcast. Uh, yeah, no, so, so okay, so I have a dog. I'll go for a walk. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'll probably live somewhere, if I don't live where I live now, somewhere with some nice, you know, countryside scenery. Foliage. Foliage, yeah, which is, I'm actually, um, went for a walk recently, right? And I realized near my house, it's so muddy. It's just, uh, so I'm going to get some really sick walking, walking boots. Nice. Go, go, go on some walks. Yeah, probably walk the dog. I'm actually, I'm actually starting to get a bit, of a bit of a panic attack thinking about this. It sounds so boring. It sounds so boring. I hope by then there's some sort of like version of Wordle. You know what I mean? That is like, that take, right. Will you work? Will I work? Yeah. yeah I, I, I'll do, probably do something. You know, maybe it makes like a spreadsheet or something. <laughs> I'll just make spreadsheets. I, I'll do something, man. I can't, I can't sit there and... I've got ADHD, man. I might be, I might be a, like a lip syncing grandpa on TikTok. What does that mean? As in, you you seen, read lip sync, or you, you you've voice- seen like no, you've seen like the Donny that lip syncs to random songs in his car, and he always oh, gets the lyrics wrong. Oh, sorry, it's singing. I thought you meant like lip syncing, like 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 talking and then dubbing it over with something else. No, no, nah, nah. yeah, yeah, I like that guy because everyone's always like, oh, what a nice grandpa. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, that's me. Daddy, I, we used to be making beats. <laughs> Probably, yeah. Probably making some sort of Mozart shit back then. <laughs> by then. <laughs> Now, you don't go back in time. I know, you get I old know. with the music you I, I, listen to. I, I think our generation is gonna have a real, real hard time when we get older. Why? At least, at least, not the, cause you know, there are people our age, maybe like Nick, you know, who are like, you know. He's not our age. Not, no, no, <laughs> but like normal people, but our generation of like, you know, gamers and like TikTokers and we're gonna have a really hard- like, Why? Cause we just, we don't have no life. Yeah, but we're happy to sit and play a game. Yes. Yeah, so if it's a, okay, I'll play Civ all day. I'm sixty. Yeah, Civ sixty. <laughs> but, but I think we, I think our generation have a real shock. I also, Brad, by the way, reckon we're all going to have like back problems and stuff. And oh yeah, hundred percent. Because you got to remember, right? You look at an old person now, okay? Look at a six, seventy year old, eighty year old, ninety year old, right? And, and okay, and a lot of them are, you know, they've got back problems or they're a bit hunchback or they're a little bit overweight or whatever, right? They were in the army. They were literally fucking fighting, man. And they were fit. So they, they were literally like, you know what I'm saying? What are we going to be like? I mean, you could go to the gym. No, no, no. I know what I'm saying. I'm saying, <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sure. But I'm saying, okay, true. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But I think, <laughs> you know, but I'm, I'm saying our generation, okay, our generation as a whole, actually, I think gym's becoming more popular, isn't it? People, people are going to the gym these days. I think you're living in a very small bubble. No, 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 no. Like no. you've seen like, oh, JJ goes to the gym. Oh, uh, Josh started. Nah, 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 I'm talking about TikTok. Blah, blah. Like, there's a really big health kick right now. It's good. It's good. It's trendy. It's trendy to go to the gym now. It's trendy to be a gym influencer. They should call that. They should make that thing. Gym influencer. I'm hashtag claiming that. I feel like I feel like it's the opposite. Really? Well, I feel like now it's like body positivity with yeah. everything. Like, you know uh, what I mean? Yeah. It's weird. Weird. And also, we don't know what actually is really like. All we know is what TikTok and Instagram show true, us. You know. True. But I think we have a rude awaken when we're sixty or sixty. Well, speaking of you. Getting a dog when you're 60. KSI has just got a cat. Yeah. You, whack, it, whack it up. I creased in my stream when, like, so it's called Boo. Ah! Is, it's B different year, different Boo. <laughs> it's called Boo, which is a Dragon Ball Z character. Yeah. But he got a cat that looks like Beerus. <laughs> and he called it Boo. True. True. I don't true. understand the logic. I think because he can't, I think Beerus is too mainstream. Yeah, he he got a cat like it. I know. But I creased because I was streaming, right? Uh, and <laughs> someone goes, someone goes, oh, it's short for Elbu. <laughs> and I was like, that is so good. No one clocked it in the chat when I put... Um, but Vic didn't, Vic didn't get it. He put uh, like Spanish boo, Elbu. Oh, oh. I was like, no, no, it's because of the elbow. Got you. Got yeah. You. And yeah. he didn't get it at all. No one put what? What did you say about the chat? Uh, I put in uh, when when Gundogan scored that free kick. Yeah. And um, JJ was like, "Oh fuck's sake, man!" Because of Arsenal. And I was like, um, "Ah, I thought you got an elbow to it, you know." Oh. You know, I can understand why no one. <laughs> <laughs> followed oh, up on Chip's that. comment made me crease. By the way, Theo Baker, if he was a cat, <laughs> <laughs> or if Theo Baker was a cat, sorry, it's class. That's so class. Uh, Bro thinks he's Morpheus. <laughs> Those <laughs> cats, by the way, are like that's Sean said short for ball sack. <laughs> uh, that is those cats are like a lot of work. Yeah, or, or really? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a cat guy anyway. But then, if I had to choose a cat, I wouldn't choose that cat. But you know, each to their own. 
Yeah. I want, mean, yeah. If he wants that cat, go and get that he cat. He used to be a dog person, you know. Really? He was a dog person and he's changed up. He's well, changed up on us. Isn't he saying like, it's easier to work with? Because cats, you can just kind of like, like do what they want to do. Yeah, but I don't think that cat is. Oh. I feel like that cat is as much work as a dog because nah. they have health issues and constant like dry skin and stuff like that. I can see why they would have dry skin. You got moisturize a cat? I think so. That'd be an interesting thing. I'd, I'd do that actually. What moisturize a cat? Or moisturize a cat. That looks like it needs manscaped. It looks. It looks like it. I thought you were going to create a segue then. No. I wish that would yeah, be a good sponsor. Yeah. So, but don't also don't um don't let you shave your cat with manscaped. No, don't. Well, you don't need to shave the cat. It's a hairless cat. Is it actually hairless? Yeah. I bet it has a bit of hair on it. I don't think so. I think the point of it is... is yeah, maybe, no, okay, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Anyways, um, we can call it there for today. Yeah. Um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Subscribe. And we'll see you next week. And we won't talk about boxing. Yeah, fuck boxing, honestly, swear to God. Oh, and also, we should have talked about Silent actually. That's a good one to do. Did you watch it? Exactly. The best way you could tell me about it. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can do both next week. Yeah. Danny Aaron's isn't it? He was. James was in it. He was. Freezy. Freezy was in it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we can tell you next week. Take care. Thanks for watching. Peace.